This is the solution for Lab 3, Part 2, where you will import a conversation called OK Watson, which is available as a starter kit on GitHub. If you haven't used Watson Conversation before, follow the link in the steps of the tutorial, which will help you get started. As the conversation has been pre-built, you need to save the file. Open the OK Watson starter kit from the link in the steps and click on the Watson starter conversation.json file. Right click on Raw and then save link as, and then save the file into your system. You need to check that the file has saved as a JSON file, so open it up into an editor. I'm just going to beautify it so it's easier to check. OK, so back on your IBM Cloud page, you need to select the conversation service that you created in an earlier lab and click on the Launch tool. Log into the service and click on the Import icon. Select the JSON file that you just saved on GitHub and make sure that everything is selected. Once it has been imported, you are automatically taken into the workspace. From the menu, click on the window icon to take you back to the list of workspaces and then go to Options and View Details. The important part here is the workspace ID, which you will need in Node-RED later. Click the back button and then get started. The conversation is made up of three parts, intents, entities and dialogue. An intent is a possible meaning of what the user says. You can add a description and examples for each intent the more examples, the better. So for the demo intent, there are eight different ways that have been specified for asking the demo, and there are seven variations of greeting. Entities represent a class of object or a data type that is relevant to a user's purpose. Here you can see there are four entities, and each entity has one or more value associated with it. There are also system entities, which are common entities such as numbers and currency that are created for you. The third part is the dialogue where you build the flow of the conversation. On the right hand side you can test out your dialogue. Here I am going to type that I want to see a demo. Notice that it has been recognised as a demo intent. Now I want to see a demo wasn't an exact match to those added in the demo intent, which is the beauty of what's in conversation. At this point I added in my Twitter handle, which will flag as irrelevant and the conversation won't go any further until it is in no red. That's it for conversation at this point, so go back to the starter kit on GitHub and this time open the starter flow JSON. This time, click on Raw and copy the code. Go back to your node instance. I'm going to skip forward a few steps and paste this code in now. So I'll go and create a new flow and name it OK Watson. I'm then going to Options, Import from Clipboard and paste in the code. I'll click where I want it to drop on the canvas and then at the bottom zoom out so you can see the full flow. This code uses link nodes, which haven't been covered yet. A link node helps to keep the canvas looking tidy by helping to stop crossing wires. You can also cross on one tab to another. To try these out, go back to your first flow. This flow doesn't have a name yet, so I'll just double click and call it Hello World. I'm going to add on an inject node, a link in node and two link out nodes. Delete the wire between the old inject node and the translator node. I've just moved one link out node next to the old inject node. I did the new inject node by naming it Goodbye Inject and change the payload to string. Add the text, it's time for me to go now, and then click Done. Wire the inject node to the other link out node and wire the hello inject node to the second link out node. Double click on the link in node and name it hello world inject. And do the same for the other one and name it goodbye inject. Move the link in node next to the language translator node and connect them together. Now double click on the link in node and name it translation input. Now that you have named the link out nodes, it is obvious which one is which as opposed to the default string that you can see below. You want to link both outputs, so check both boxes and click done. Because the link in node is highlighted, you will see a dotted line appear between the link nodes. Deploy the app and initiate both inject nodes and you shall see the translation for both strings.
Now you're ready to work on the OK Watson flow. If you haven't already, paste in the code using the options import from clipboard option. So this flow might seem complicated, but let's break it down. The nodes in the test text in provide sample input strings such as hello and some positive feedback. The link node here goes to the tone analyzer node. The speech in group of nodes uses the microphone and speech or text nodes, similar to the interpreter flow that you created earlier in this lab. Double click on the speech or text node and check that the language is what you will be speaking in. Notice that this link node goes straight to the tone analyzer node. Double click on the tone analyzer, change the method to generate tone, set the version date to multiple tones and the input language to English and then click done. Now look at the add emotion to context function. The script in this function node determines the highest tone score and sets it to message fields that the conversation node will look for. The output from tone analyzer links into the conversation node. So edit the conversation node. Here you are required to enter a workspace ID. So go back to the Watson conversation workspace and copy and paste the workspace ID into node red. Next, edit the text to speech node by setting an output language of your choice. That's it for now, so deploy the app. You'll be warned that the Twitter node is not configured correctly. Ignore that for now and confirm the deploy. Test the application by initiating any of the inject nodes or by using the microphone. In the debug tab, it looks slightly scary with all the red and yellow bars, but actually these are the results because the OK Watson flow is using node.warn to write to the debug. So you're almost there. You just need to connect your Twitter account. Double click on the Add Context node and type in your Twitter handle and then click Done. Note that this set of nodes goes straight to the conversation node rather than via the tone analyzer. Double click on the Twitter node and you need to add in your Twitter credentials. So click on the pencil and authenticate with Twitter. Once authorised you can go back into node red. Click Add and then Done. So this was the last step. Deploy your application and initiate the reset context and initiate the set user's details. It's worth trashing the debug tab at this point so you have a clear log. Now, test the flow by initiating the demo's inject node. In the debug tab, you will see that it is tweeting and sending the string to Twitter. Head over to your Twitter account to see the live tweet. This completes the solution for Lab 3, Part 1 where you have imported a pre-built conversation into the Watson Conversation Service, imported a community flow and configured it to send tweets to your Twitter account.